Hello and welcome back to this course. In this video, we will see how to create a Unity Catalog Metastore. So please watch my previous videos on what is Unity Catalog and what are the prerequisites etc. Now let's log into the Azure portal. Okay, so where we have created our resources like uh, Databricks Workspace, ADLS Storage and Access Connector for Azure Databricks. And we have placed all that resources into our resource group. Okay, so this is the resource group we created and all our resources are available here. And for accessing Unity Catalog, what you have to use is just use this URL accounts dot azure databricks dot net so this is the url you need to use accounts dot azure databricks dot net and once prompted type the credential and you can use the same single sign on that you have created for azure active directory use that account and uh, if it's asking for a multi-factor authentication leave it and uh, log in so this is how your Unity Catalog uh, account page looks like. So initially you will get a page like this and on the left hand side you can go to this workspace menu where it will list available workspace in your tenant. This is the workspace we have created and its status etc. And the next tab so which is data and it will list whatever the meta store you created. So this is a brand new environment and we have not created any Metastore and we will create our Metastore from here. So the next is the user management. You can onboard the user which are already available in Azure Active Directory. You can onboard that user to here. Not only user, service principle and groups. And the last part is settings where you can set up user provisioning. That means you can use Azure Active Directory for integrating and uh, it will automatically load a user so this will i will show uh, later now let's go ahead and create a meta store so meta store is nothing but the place where all the databases tables schema etc will be stored and it use an adls storage in the backend so let's use this option to create a meta store the first is name you can use some name I'm just using Metastore or whatever the name uh, which is comfortable or convenient for your uh, choice you can use that and coming to the location so choose the same location you already selected for other resources I'm selecting South India and the next is uh, your container name storage account dot dfs dot windows dot net so you need uh, this ADLS Gen2 path as well as Access Connector ID. So come back to Azure portal. So you can choose this ADLS storage and create a new container. So you can create the container. Uh, what I, what, whatever the name you can use. Meta Store. So this is the name which I am going to use and then create okay so this is the name or make a note of uh, this entry meta store so what you need is um, container name at storage account dot dfs dot core dot windows dot net so we will um, place our container name here then at this url you need storage account dot dfs dot core dot windows dot net so that value you can get from the settings endpoint okay so if you come to the endpoint check this data lake and you can see this complete url your storage account dot dfs dot core dot windows dot net use that okay so right then this one so this is the value and inside the container if you have some other directory if you are using uh, you can use that directory here otherwise just to leave this way okay just copy and add it 
and access connector id so you can choose back to your resource group and there is one more resource we created access connector so that access connector id you can get from here so this is the resource id listed here so this access connector okay so this is basically a managed identity and this access connector should have storage blob contributor into this storage account and then create so if you have some permission issues or anything it will list here and only one prerequisite is uh, the permission which is storage blob contributor okay right and uh, the next you can assign to whatever the workspaces okay you can choose the workspace so that it will integrate that meta store with this uh, workspace and if you have multiple workspace yes definitely you can add it now or later also you can do so i'm just assigning that enable okay it will take a moment and uh, you can see this is already added okay so whatever the meta store if you come back to the data menu you can see this meta store and its path etc listed here select this and you can see uh, what are the workspaces which is associated with this and it will list if you can if you want to assign to some other workspace yes you can use this but for the time being i have only one workspace available and uh, how do you validate from the uh, workspace so you can go to the workspace and uh, launch workspace and here you can uh, see this meta store is attached okay so we will see how to validate that from the workspace uh, so what you have to do is come back to this data and uh, once we enable this uh, meta store so you can see whatever the meta store okay so this is something like the whatever the meta store uh, we attached okay so that is the you because of the unity catalog and this is showing this create catalog menu etc and whatever this uh, delta sharing etc comes only after integrating with the unity catalog so you can see this is the meta store that we created and uh, meta store this is the name and right if you are using some other name yes that name will list here and you can create the catalogs create the databases tables etc into this uh, meta store hope it's very clear thank you for watching this video we will see in the next video bye